Have you ever wondered about the real story behind René Descartes and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz? While these two philosophers may be known for their individual contributions to Western philosophy, their relationship and influence on each other is a fascinating untold tale that sheds light on their groundbreaking ideas. Let's dive into the life of René Descartes and explore his encounters with Leibniz, which shaped his philosophical journey. Descartes, often hailed as the father of modern philosophy, was a French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist. He famously penned the phrase cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am, which became a cornerstone of his philosophy. But behind the scenes, Descartes and Leibniz had a unique intellectual bond. Their encounters sparked intense debates and brought about paradigm shifts in their respective philosophies. Descartes, with his focus on skepticism and doubt, laid a solid foundation for Leibniz's optimistic and rational worldview. One key interaction between Descartes and Leibniz occurred during a philosophical gathering in Paris, where they engaged in passionate discussions about the nature of reality. Descartes, known for his emphasis on subjective experience, argued for the existence of an immaterial mind separate from the body. Meanwhile, Leibniz challenged this notion and proposed his theory of monads, which suggested that the universe is composed of indivisible and self-contained entities. In another encounter, Descartes questioned the possibility of acquiring certain knowledge. He famously stated, Dubido, ergo cogito, ergo sum, I doubt, therefore I think, therefore I am. This doubt sparked Leibniz's curiosity to explore the concept of innate ideas and his subsequent development of the idea of a pre-established harmony. Leibniz believed that truths and knowledge were inherent in human beings and that the universe was structured in a way that ensured the agreement of our thoughts with the external world. Descartes' influence on Leibniz extended beyond these philosophical debates. Leibniz was also inspired by Descartes' mathematical prowess and his invention of analytic geometry. Descartes' mathematical innovations led Leibniz to delve deeper into the study of calculus, ultimately contributing to the development of his own profound mathematical discoveries. So, what can we learn from Descartes' relationship with Leibniz? Their interactions exemplify the essential nature of intellectual discourse and debate for philosophical progress. By challenging each other's ideas, they pushed the boundaries of knowledge and opened new doors of understanding. Descartes may be celebrated for his foundational work, but his encounters with Leibniz reveal a dynamic and nuanced perspective on his philosophy. They showcase the complexity of philosophical development and underscore the interconnectedness of ideas throughout history. The next time you contemplate Descartes' famous words, remember the impact that his relationship with Leibniz had on his philosophical journey. It may just lead you to question traditional narratives and encourage you to explore the untold stories that shape our understanding of philosophy.